What's going on everybody? Bradley Martin here and today we're doing the second installment of Meal Prep Mondays and I hope I can get these to you guys every Monday because you guys showed us so much love last time. Um, today we're going to be doing bison burger sliders with a special sauce and a, uh, like a, a coleslaw that I like to make to put on top of this so let's check it out. Alright guys, first step, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need red or purple cabbage. Do you make Red cabbage? I don't know, purple cabbage. Your favorite hot sauce, I love sriracha. Salt, sea salt. Some Greek yogurt and cilantro. And a potato. Just kidding, that's for the next time. I don't need a potato. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the onion, put it into a heated up pan with a little bit of olive oil. What I want you to do, you're gonna grab the red onions and you're gonna just put it on top there and let it heat up a little bit in the olive oil. While the onions are cooking a little bit, what you guys are also gonna need, you're gonna need some Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, 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 and uh, a little bit of sugar-free syrup. So make sure you have that too. While they're cooking, you wanna prep the rest of the coleslaw. So we're gonna cut up the cabbage. So, I like to cut the cabbage up as much as possible. Um, it's really up to you how thick or how much you want it to be cut. I like to have little small cubes in my coleslaw. <laughs> I'll cut some cilantro up as well. What you're gonna need, you want a big spoonful of some Greek yogurt, and we'll transfer all of this into this pot to mix. stuff here ready to mix and check on the onions and see where they're at. Oh. So almost there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to include some sugar-free syrup and some Worcestershire sauce. So make sure you get it all over the onions. Don't just let it sit there in the middle where it was. And don't use your hands as a utensil. You don't want to burn yourself. Alright guys, onions are ready. So what we're going to do, we're going to transfer the onions from here into that mixture that we made. It didn't mix up yet, we wanted to wait for this. A little salt in there. A pinch of salt. I'll have a little bit more. The sriracha. Now, guys, when it comes to the sriracha, just put a little bit, or however much you want. So don't don't go crazy with it unless you can handle it. So I went a little crazy with it. Normally, I would mix it with my hands, but. I just didn't want to look barbaric to you guys. Alright guys, coleslaw is done. We're going to put it aside so we can get to the sliders. Oh, let's jump shit. Got to get all the fixings. <laughs> Alright, so the second main step is you're going to create the bison burger. So what we're going to need is we're going to need some garlic, some cayenne pepper, some basil, some white pepper, some tarragon, and a little bit of sea salt, and of course, the bison. All right guys, so I'm gonna start with cutting the parsley. I didn't mention that, what you need, but you need parsley as well. Just a little bit, a little bit more than that. Yeah, there we go. And we'll throw that in there too, why not? Some 
fine. Dead bison. So we're gonna mix all these ingredients evenly. So put a little salt, which I never do evenly because I always like a lot more salt. But just kidding, don't use a lot of salt. Just a little bit. So put a little bit of tarragon in there. A little bit more than that. Some white pepper. Woo! Let's get it. Some basil. So again, guys, put an even amount of each ingredient in there. I like to put a super amount of extra cayenne because I like my stuff hot. All right, almost there. There it is. And some garlic. Lots of garlic, not just some garlic. And. See what we got there? Alright. Okay, so now we got everything ready. We're gonna mix it up. I'm gonna use my hands this time. And when you guys make these, you wanna try and make them a little bit smaller so they'll cook a little bit quicker so you can get them out of there faster and into your mouth. Just kidding, because they cook better when they're a little bit smaller. All right, guys, so now we're going to form the bison burgers. A bit. Try to make sure they're even. This one's a little bit too big. <laughs> oh, well. I don't wait. Just right. This one's too big. <laughs> Alright guys. Bison sliders are ready to go. We're going to heat up this potato. I showed you guys the trick in the last video um, for the glazed chicken. So if you didn't see it, I'll do it again. You're going to cover this with a paper towel. Get it slightly wet. And you're gonna pop it in the microwave, just like that. That side you went all the way wet. There we go. So we're going for about five minutes. All right, so we got the pan nice and hot. Let's put the bison burgers on there. Alright guys, so we're going to heat the other pan for the potatoes, but let this cook for three to five minutes, depending on how you like it. I like it a little less cooked, so I'll really go around like four minutes. Cut up that potato. So as you guys can tell, if we heated it up in the microwave, it made it a little bit more tender and easier to cut. So it's almost like par cooked, and then we'll cook it, we'll finish cooking it by grilling it. All right, so we're gonna put the potatoes into the pan. Now, you can put on top of the potatoes what you want. If you want any kind of seasoning, feel free to put it on there. I'm gonna keep it plain for now. Just because I'm feeling plain. All right, so now we're gonna put the bison burgers. Press them down. It'll, it'll kind of you'll let all the flavor out. All right, guys. So now we got the bison is ready. We've been cooking it for about four minutes. We're gonna flip over the potatoes. I wanted to grab it.
All right, now we'll transfer the bison from the pan to this plate right here. It's magic. So now we got everything on separate plates here. Well, these are in bowls, but same thing. So now we're going to plate them. So you're going to take potato, put it on the bottom, bison patty, put it right there on top. And I have to use my hands on this one. Put a little bit of that coleslaw on there and around it as well. So. We'll just use our hands. It's funner that way. <laughs> this one, we didn't really have the right size potato for the bison, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> all right, guys, all done. Bison sliders with a little sriracha coleslaw. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I like this little spin because I sometimes I get tired of the buns. If you guys want to see more, give it a big thumbs up. Give me some more suggestions in the comment section below. If you don't like it, I don't know, unsubscribe or something like that. But I hope you guys did. So see you guys soon. Let's get better together. Let's eat better together. So much more coming. Make sure you guys come back each Monday. I want to be doing these every Monday for y'all. So see y'all soon.